Imagine living a life where every decision, every step, every movement is shared with another consciousness. Not side by side, but joined. One body, two minds. This is the reality of conjoined twins, Abby and Brittany Hensel, perhaps the most well-known two-headed humans alive today. Born in 1990 in Minnesota, Abby and Brittany were fused at the torso with separate heads, hearts, and spines, but they share one body. Each controls one side of the body. Abby controls the right arm and leg, while Brittany controls the left. To walk, they must cooperate in perfect harmony. To write, they must time every finger. To drive, to swim, to live it all requires a dance of coordination unlike anything else on earth. Their story captivated the world because it challenges our understanding of identity. They are two people, but in one vessel. They passed the driver's test, each took the wheel separately. They earned college degrees and starred in their own reality show. But behind the scenes, it hasn't always been easy. As they age, questions linger, will they fall in love? Can they have children? What happens when one body ages differently than the minds inside? But this isn't an isolated mystery. Throughout medical history, there have been rare but documented cases of two-headed humans. Some were parasitic twins, like Rebecca Martinez from the Dominican Republic. Born in 2004, with a second head growing from her skull, it had a brain and even blinking eyes, but no body. She was successfully operated on, but sadly passed away during the procedure. Then there was the curious case in Egypt, where a baby named Manar Maged was born with a second head attached, complete with a face, but incapable of independent thought. These aren't just stories, they're biological puzzles. So how does this happen? Polycephaly. The condition of having more than one head typically begins in the womb when identical twins fail to fully separate. Depending on when and how the split is interrupted, the result can be conjoined twins or, more rarely, a parasitic twin. The parasitic twin ceases development, but part of its body continues to grow from the host, feeding off their shared blood supply. But the phenomenon isn't limited to humans. In 2016, a two-headed snake was discovered slithering through the forests of South Carolina. Each head had its own brain and attempted to move in different directions. Sometimes, they would even try to eat at the same time, causing confusion and even conflict between the heads. Cases like this have been found in turtles, lizards, cows, and more. In the wild, their chances of survival are low, but in captivity, they can live surprisingly long lives. So what makes Abby and Brittany Hensel so unique? Unlike parasitic twins or animals with poor coordination, Abby and Brittany are truly two people in one body with full consciousness, individual preferences, and distinct personalities. One might be tired, while the other is full of energy. One prefers math, the other prefers literature. But they've chosen a life of shared strength instead of separation. Many doctors believe that separating them would have resulted in death or lifelong disability. And so, together, they grew to adults, working as teachers and inspiring millions. Why are we so fascinated by stories like these? Because they force us to question what makes us, us. Where does individuality begin and where does it end? Can two minds occupy one body and still remain separate people? And what happens when one of those minds, one of those hearts faces a future the other does not? Abby and Brittany's story is not just medical, it's spiritual, it's emotional. It's a reminder of how life finds a way, even in the most extraordinary and abnormal forms. And there are still more stories like theirs, waiting to be told. Have you heard the story of Frank Three-Legged Lentini? He had three legs and four feet. Click above for the story.